Welcome into the Cook Center on the campus of Mid-American Nazarene University where we're set for some Heart of America Conference action between your hosts, the Mid-America Nazarene University Pioneers and the visiting Baker College Wildcats in town from Baldwin City, Kansas. Baker comes into tonight's game with just a 3-22 record and 3-18 and in conference play. Pioneers enter this one with a 14-10 record, but this is a team that has been red hot since the turn of the semester break. Come January 1st, they have won 11 out of 12, climbing all the way back up toward the top of the Heart of America Conference rankings and fighting for a, a potential home playoff game now. So head coach John Lewis with his 300th career win up at Benedictine has this team absolutely rolling here in the second semester. As his leading scorer and the true freshman Cameron Green wins the tip, the Pioneers will get things started. Teams met once already in Baldwin. It was a Pioneer win by four points. I think this is a much different Pioneer team than went to Baldwin at the time. Again, winners of 11 of their last 12. Cameron Green's turnaround jumper off the mark to get things started. So Wildcat offense led by a transfer from Haskell there in Lawrence. Jalen Twoharts averaging 16 points a game. Leah Van Wielden 14 points a game. But the scoring going to be started by Emma Cunningham, a six-foot senior from Andover, Kansas, the drive to the right hand. 2 nothing lead early for the Wildcats. Pettis refuses that screen on the left side. Wild shot, got her own rebound. Now gets it inside to Green, working one-on-one -on -one in the post, and she traveled, lost her footing. Well, a couple of empty trips to start off the first half here in the Cook Center. Pioneers show a little token full court press now. Madalena Ochoa running the point. The Wildcats gets it to two hearts and now over to Van Wielden. A four out, one in. Back screen at the elbow offense for Baker. Little horns action. Ochoa drives right side. Kept that pivot foot down. Three on the way from the top of the key. Knocked down by Leah Van Wielden. Two for two on the offensive end are the Wildcats. This one from downtown, it's a 5 nothing lead. Green hands it off to Lydia Austinson, who gets all the way to the rim, and the layup doesn't drop. Achoa the rebound, and Coach Marillo saying, let's slow this pace down, run some offense here. Two hearts on the right wing, drives in. He's looking to drop it off to Cunningham inside. It goes off the foot of Ken Green. Be Baker basketball baseline underneath. Two hearts in the corner, guarded by Pettis. Kicks it back out, Van Wielden, another three open, back rim, Pioneers fortunate. Come up with a stop, Leah Van Wielden who just knocked one down. 
got another clean look. Shooting just right around 31, 32% from the three-point line, but certainly a capable shooter. The Pioneers will run their offense through the post, usually the high post or the elbow area. Cameron Green, a lot of dribble handoffs and ball screens, and there they get a post touch. She goes right through Cunningham and will go to the line for two. It's the first personal on Cunningham, first team foul. Just a little over two minutes in to quarter number one. First free throw up and good. Gets the scoring started for Green. Pioneers with some new uniforms tonight. I don't think I've seen these all season. I've done missed a couple of home games. Done most of them with the uh, the baby blue numbers, the light blue trim, the white jerseys. Look at the little Heart of America patch on the shoulders. It's sharp. So Alyssa Morris probing. She takes a little 15-foot pull-up jumper. Off the mark, rebound Gonzalez. Jordan's going to push. She looks all the way over the top to Ariel Sargent. Sargent caught it. It's a good catch in traffic. Couldn't get the layup to go. An offensive rebound and a three from Austinson rattles out. A missed opportunity in transition that time, but a nice job by Sargent just to come down with that ball on the long pass from Gonzalez. Baker, a little bit discombobulated offensively this trip. Now they've got it to the point guard, Ochoa. And a backdoor cut out of the corner and a circus finish from Alyssa Morris. She was fouled by Lydia Austinson. She'll go to the line for and one. As Austinson came over and helped and just lost sight of Morris, she cut back door and then took a hard hit and just threw it up over her head. The reverse layup goes down plus the harm. It's the first personal on the Pioneers. We'll have a couple of subs now. The sophomore Aubrey Rogers checks into the ball game for Austinson, along with Allison French. Rogers takes the handoff. Ball goes inside to Green on the blast cut, and Cam Green gets the two to go. Well, Pioneers show full court press once again. Just man to man pressure. Just making you think about it in the back court. Maybe take a few seconds off that shot clock on your way up the floor. Foul line jumper up and in from Emma Cuttingham. She's had a good start to this ball game offensively. It's a 10-4 lead now for the Pioneers. There's a three on the way from French. She can shoot it from there. Really a pick and pop threat at that four position, French. Nothing doing that time. And there's a steal out top by Aubrey Rogers. It's a two on one break. Nice pass. Gonzalez finds Ariel Sargent. And she gets the bucket to go and one. Wildcat bench begging for a, a travel, but Sargent ha didn't catch it cleanly. By the time she gained possession, two steps, layups up and good, plus the foul. That's a heck of a pass in transition by Jordan Gonzalez, too. Bounced it ahead of the defender. Led Sargent right to the rim. Sargent gets the bonus free throw to go. It's a one possession ball game. Inside the two hearts, nice shot fake. Got the defender off her feet and gets the reverse layup to go. That's the leading score for the Wildcats. Again, getting 16 points a game. senior from Fort Totten, North Dakota. And French had it poked away from behind that time. Van Wielden poked it away, and it's Haley Numerich running the point now. A sophomore from just down the road at Blue Valley Northwest, so a local product. Probably has some friends and family here tonight. Yeah, that's good offense by the Wildcats. Jalen Twoharts. Dropped it off for Van Wielden for the easy layup. And just like that, it's a touchdown game. As Green's drop step deflected on its way up. And 
two hearts will get a screen top of the key. Snakes off the ball screen all the way into the paint, kept that dribble alive, and I think Allison French got a piece of that one. Credit French for the block shot, but last touch by the Wildcats, so it's going to be Mid-America possession. Trailing by seven here halfway through the first quarter. As we'll see, sophomore center Mackenzie Manthe enter the ball game for Cam Green, her first action this evening. Rogers spinning into the lane all the way to the rack for the easy two. A nice take by Aubrey Rogers, hometown kid on Olathe East High School grad. Her first two of the ball game. It's a five point lead for Baker. Comes a little shuffle, staggered double out of the corner. Looking for Numerich up top. She turns down the three. Defense, Pioneers stay home on the shooters. Now Van Wielden attacks from the top of the key. Left-handed layup, no good. And Aubrey Rogers was fouled by two hearts going for the rebound. That's the third team foul on the Wildcats, the first on two hearts, but she'll take a breather. Achoa checks back in at the point guard spot. Gonzalez off a quick flare and gets a ball screen from Manthe. Hit Al Ariel Sargent shaking up out of the corner. How they get a post touch from Manthe. She gets to her right hand, had that shot blocked by Emma Cuttingham. Pioneers keep possession. It's French to the rim. Some contact, no whistle. Shot clock has not reset. And man, there is a lot of contact on both shot attempts there from Allison French. And I believe they're going to say a shot clock expired. So the ball never got to the rim. I think French should probably be at the free throw line. But instead, it's a shot clock and Baker basketball. Three on the way from Ochoa. Rattles in and out. Rebound from Sargent. Pioneers want to run in transition. Always a fast-paced offensive team. Coach John Lewis's group. Can Coach Lewis honor before the game for becoming the all-time wins leader in women's basketball at Mid-America Nazarene with 300 of them in just 12 seasons, getting about 25 wins a year in the national tournament all 12 seasons, including a national championship in 2016. So congratulations, Coach Lewis, an unbelievable job leading this Lady Pioneer basketball program. Achoa refuses the screen right down Broadway to the rim. It's the right-handed layup on the left side to go. Her first basket of the ball game. It's a 16 to 9 lead. Rogers gets a screen out top. Pick and roll to McKenzie Manthe in the left handed layup, up and good. A nice execution in the two man game there from Rogers and Manthe. And Pioneers take a 30 second timeout, trailing by 5, 2.22 to go in the first quarter. Thanks for tuning in to MNUSports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube. Wildcat basketball coming out of the timeout. So a nice execution on the pick and roll from Mackenzie Manthe. Makes this a two possession game. We'll dribble weave out top and then Baker gets into a horn set. Van Wielden gets a screen from two hearts and it's poked away again. Good on ball defense from Aubrey Rogers here in the first quarter. And she forces a turnover there as Ochoa lost it. Ended up in the hands of Allison French but credit that turnover to Aubrey Rogers in my book. The on ball Defensive pressure. 
Manthe almost had it poked away from behind. And she's looking for Austinson back door. Instead, has to cast one up from 17 feet. Doesn't draw iron. And it'll be Wildcat basketball. off on the right side. Right back to Ochoa. Little shuffle screen. They're looking for two hearts in the post, trying to post the guard there. They get it to her against Rogers. She goes up and over, misses it off the left side of the backboard. Again, good defense from the sophomore. Deanna Pettis all the way to the rim, left-handed layup up and good. So good driving downhill, especially to that left hand. Wildcats wanted to go under that screen as Pettis doesn't take a lot of perimeter jump shots. And Coach Lewis saying, just set the screen lower, get downhill, and she does. The hoop and the harm, another and one for the Pioneers. Chance to make this a two-point game. Free throws up and good, and Pioneers are set up in a press. See if they drop back into their 1-1-3 one, one, zone that they do from time to time out of this press. Pettis and Gonzalez up top pounding, and it looks like they will jump into that zone. First time we've seen it here today. Use it periodically. Stack those two guards at the top. Austinson and French playing the wings, and Cameron Green in the middle. Three on the way from the left wing. Air ball, but saved from going out of bounds by Alyssa Morris. The shot clock just at four, didn't reset, but Morris got it to Van Wielden, who was fouled, and she's going to go to the line for two. The foul's on Lydia Austinson, her second. First free throw up and good for Van Wielden. She got them both to go. So Austinson will head back to the bench with two fouls here in the first quarter. Rogers checks right back in. Green up top, dribble handoff to Pettis. Could have been a double dribble, no call. Gonzalez takes the handoff and knocks down a three. 18-17, your score, the first basket of the game for the fifth-year senior, Gonzalez, who just recently joined the 1,000-point club. Pioneer still in that zone, extended out. This should be the final possession of the first quarter. Van Wielden working on Gonzalez. Ochoa's floater hit every part of the rim and rattled out. Two on the clock, and Pettis tried to find Gonzalez, ran out of time. It is an 18-17 lead for Baker. At the end of one, we'll take a one-minute break. Be back for the second quarter of action here in the Cook Center, MNUSports.com, MNU Sports on YouTube.
And it is Wildcat basketball to start the second quarter. Van Wielden inbounds it, gets it right back. And it looks to be the starting five on the floor for Baker, with the exception of Haley Numrich out there for a cho, or for two hearts, excuse me. Cunningham working inside, maybe an extra step, no call, just about threw it into the backcourt. Van Wielden tracked it down. Working right to left, cut off there by Green. Drop step, good defense by the freshman. Green forces the miss. Another offensive rebound by Morris. And it was tied up, jump ball arrow favors the Pioneers. Chance to take their first lead of the ball game here. Baker got off to a quick start, 10 to four early, and then Pioneers rallied back, one point game at the break. Cross screen, looking to go inside to Green. They get it to her on the block. Kicked out for Gonzalez. Errant pass, had to regather. Skip to Rogers in the corner for three. Back rim, no good. And Baker in semi-transition now. It's Morris on the right side. Newrich gonna reset. Get into their horns look. Goes high post to Cunningham. And there's Aubrey Rogers again, tying up the ball, poking it free. It's going to be another jump ball, just about another steal. Well, if they have an all-conference all defensive team, that if they do, would nominate Aubrey Rogers for that position. Just active hands. That's a couple of steals and three or four deflections here. Not even two minutes into the second quarter. And that's a nice post entry pass as Emma Cunningham was able to seal Green up the lane line, threw it over the top. This old Bill Self high low from the wing, really easy too. Cunningham now with six points in the game. Pioneers looking to answer, go right back inside at Cunningham. Double team comes. Green able to regather and kick it out to Sargent. Now right back to Green. Two man game from the corner, spin move and just lay up too strong. Good action on the pick and roll, but couldn't get the finish. Open three from the wing, knocked down by Leah Van Wielden. She's in double figures already with 10 points. Van Wielden, who averages 14, has 10 of them here early on. That's a nice pass from Pettis. Now Rogers drives the close out to the rim, misses the layup. And a fight for the rebound, last touched by the Wildcats. So. The B Mid America basketball baseline underneath. Pettis will inbound, box set. Get it inside to Green. Pettis left all alone, casts up a three and knocks it down. Deanna Pettis makes a two possession game, a one possession game with the three in front of the Baker bench. Pettis doesn't shoot a lot of them, but has shown the ability to knock them down when she does. Step back three from two hearts off the mark. Cutting him an offensive rebound, and she's going to go to the line for two. First personal on green, but she's going to take a breather as Trinity McDowell checks in along with Madison Haney. And Cunningham's first is good. knocks down both. This is a Wildcat team that looks a whole lot better than their record would indicate, at least here in the first half. They've been pretty sharp offensively, have some size, have some guards that can shoot it. Not seen the results in the win column this season. Again, this team is 3-22 and 22 overall, I believe, coming into tonight's ballgame and playing a red-hot Pioneers team, but looking up for the challenge. McDowell to Haney, right side. Skip pass, Pettis. 
Six on the shot clock. So take a step back jumper from 18 feet, left it short. Pioneers back in the man-to-man -man defense. Van Wielden takes it off of a pro cut. Looking inside for Morris. Morris is working on McDowell, who's fresh off the bench. Couldn't get it to her. Now they get it to her on the perimeter, and Morris casts up a three too strong. A little pistol action on the left side. They got it to Pettis all the way to the rim. Another missed layup. Pioneers have had several opportunities at the rim. Haven't converted. They'll keep possession. Pettis will inbound on the baseline. 20 on the shot clock. 6.17 to go in the first half. Looking to go inside to Ariel Sargent. Instead, another three from Pettis. This time it's short and Sargent pulls down the rebound. Pettis double teamed and stolen. In the corner by, I believe, that's Haley Numrich. And Wildcat head coach Marillo going to take a timeout to save possession. So it'll be Baker basketball after the steal. 30-second timeout at MNUsports.com. Good defensive possession by the Pioneers. Deanna Pettis comes up with a steal. A much needed Pioneer defensive stop. And poked away in transition, but Allison French and Aubrey Rogers will check back in for the Pioneers. Trailing by five, 531 to go in the second quarter. Rogers drives in from the wing, kicked out to Haney. Now Gonzalez takes a three from the corner. No good. Alyssa Morris pulls down the rebound. Here come the Wildcats. Right inside to Cuttingham they go. Good defense by Allison French. Let's give her another block shot on that one. Stayed vertical, but I think got a piece of the basketball. Certainly forced the miss. Pioneers go inside to McDowell. Double team comes. She spins baseline, got all the way around it. Had a clear path on the reverse layup and threw it over the rim for yet another missed opportunity at the rim for the Lady Pioneers here in the first half. That's I'm going to give five, maybe six missed layups. A couple of them highly contested. That one, not the case. Another defensive stop. Defense keeping them in it now. It's 25-20. Low scoring affair. French sweeps out to Aubrey Rogers on the wing and a three-second violation going to be called on McDowell. Pioneer team averaging almost 70 points a game, about 68.5. So still certainly be on pace for that if you pick it up a bit offensively. But gone through a bit of a dry spet here in the second quarter. Ball swung around the perimeter. Four out, one in look now for Baker. They're trying to go inside to Cuttingham. Now here comes the shuffle. 
play broke down, and they're just going to have to reset out top to Achoa. She drives all the way into the paint, stops, and scores off the glass. It's a strong take from Madalena Achoa. A junior from Phoenix, Arizona, her second bucket of the game. A 27-20 lead for the Wildcats. Pettis gets a screen in the corner. Looking for Green, not there. Rogers, three from the slot. Looked good the whole way, back rim. Second three, this one from French, too strong off the top of the backboard. And I'm telling you, Allison French can get hot and really shoot it. Had a couple of clean looks here. Pioneer struggling from the field. Two hearts drives and is fouled by French, I believe. Nope, they're going to get Aubrey Rogers swiping in from the corner on the personal foul. And ball thrown all the way into the backcourt. You can do that on an inbounds pass, so no harm. 15 on the shot clock now for Baker. The double drag ball screen out top. Van Wielden pops. Cunningham was going to roll, but never got there as Deanna Pettis stole it away. Pioneers had numbers. Pettis is three on two now to the rim, cut off by Van Wielden. And French somehow squeaked that pass along the baseline to Cameron Green. Her turnaround jumper rattles out. The lid remains on that basket. Wildcats content to run about 15 seconds off the shot clock before really getting into their offense. Just some dribble handoffs and then get to their action and a slower paced game may be in their favor. This should be a stop for the Pioneers, it is. And then Deanna Pettis was fouled from behind by Van Wielden and Van Wielden is grabbing at that left hand as if she may have injured it going to the floor there. That would be a big loss for the Wildcats. If she is indeed injured, she's going to check out of the game. And she's holding that left hand in an awkward way. You get tended to by the athletic trainers, I'm sure. Keep an eye on that as Van Wielden, second leading scorer for this Baker club and already in double figures today. So, be a huge loss. Gonzalez looking to go inside to Cameron Green and stolen away. Just too much traffic in the paint. Box set from the Wildcats. Pro cut to two hearts. Zipper, I should say. Now she comes off a flare, curls it to the rim. Good defense by Rogers. Nowhere to go. Rogers now blows up the dribble handoff, poked it away, and there's Aubrey Rogers on the floor. Comes up with the basketball. That should be a jump ball. It is. That is the fourth or fifth just standout defensive play by the sophomore from Olathe the East here in the first half. Aubrey Rogers. An excellent job on a really good player in Jalen Two Hearts, averaging 16 a game coming into the ball game tonight. Just two here so far. Gonzalez, great pass. Allison French cutting out of the corner, had another layup missed. Second chance opportunity by Green, no good. Man, Pioneers are generating a lot of opportunities inside, and just unable to convert. Ball screen at the elbow. Cunningham for Morris. Now Morris takes a deep three from behind the screen. Missed it. Rebound Gonzalez. Pioneer's been stuck on 20 for some time. Kick it out. Pettis in transition. Drives the closeout. Has her shot blocked by two hearts. Just one minute to go here in the first half. Two hearts. Casts up a tough three rattles off the backboard and out Allison French the rebound pioneers can go two for one if they have a look early Gonzalez inside the green kicked out French turns down the three takes a pull-up jumper at the elbow off the glass no good and Deanna Pettis gonna be whistled for a loose ball foul I'm not sure when the pioneers scored point number 20 it's been several minutes ago been stuck there for the remainder of the half they should get the final shot of the second quarter. Barring an offensive rebound or a turnover, I guess. A 
It's two hearts, top of the key. Now Morris. Back screen from Cunningham. And again, all that early motion just to reset, get into an action about 15 on the shot clock. Got it to two hearts on a pro cut coming across the top, but whistled for an illegal screen was Cunningham, her second personal. Second team foul, so Pioneers will get the final possession of this half. Trailing by seven, would love to make it a two possession game at the break if they can here. Gonzalez gonna roll it into Pettis. Takes her time bringing it across the midcourt line. Offense set to the high post with Cameron Green. She gets a cross screen on the block. Beautiful execution by the Pioneers. Green with the dribble handoff, rolls inside, comes off the cross screen and gets the layup to go. And it's a 27-22 lead for the Wildcats at the end of the first half. So take a 15 minute break, bringing you the second half of action here in the Cook Center between your host, the Mid-America Pioneers and the Baker College Wildcats.
And welcome back into the Cook Center for a second half of action. The Baker Wildcats come into the Cook Center and take a five-point lead into the break against a red-hot Pioneers team. This is Lady Pioneers Club winners of 11 out of 12 here in the second semester. And looking to start off the second half where they left it off, and they do. And that's with a basket from Cameron Green as a steal and Green ahead of the pack in transition gets the easy layup and we're a one possession game right out of the gate. The story of the first half to me was Pioneers defensively doing a great job on Jalen Two Hearts, the leading scorer for the Wildcats, just two points in the first half. But big opening two quarters from Leah Van Wielden and Emma Cuttingham sparked a Wildcat lead in a cold shooting second quarter from the Pioneers, but have kept themselves in it with their defense. There's two steals on two possessions here to start the third quarter, and Austinson in transition. Flips it back to Gonzalez, now up over the top, Cameron Green, make it three straight baskets on three straight possessions for the freshman, Cam Green. 27-26 your score, Green now in double figures with 10. Lydia Austinson responds to the basket by cutting him before you can blink. Doug Lott saying, our wonderful PA announcer saying, basket by Emma Cunningham, and before he got the ham out of his mouth, Lydia Austinson was laying it in at the other end, just so fast in transition for her first bucket back to a one-point game. Now looking to answer again, Austinson shot fake drive, splits two defenders and scores with the right hand, puts the Pioneers on top, 30 to 29. The senior from Tecumseh, Kansas, who was having a phenomenal senior year a year ago and then tore her ACL, took a medical redshirt, came back one more time, and having a great fifth year campaign. Puts the Pioneers with their first lead of the ball game. Timeout, Baker will take one with them. 30 to 29 lead for Mid-America, MNUsports.com. Van Wielden inbounds up top to Cuttingham. And it's Haley Numerich left side. Staggered double out of the corner. Ball finds Maggie Myers, 30 in the blue jerseys. I want to say it's her first action. May have played a little bit in the first half. I don't recall. A strong drive from the left side. Van Wielden is fouled. That's good news for Baker fans as Van Wielden went down and appeared to injure her left hand earlier in the first half. Came out and did not return in the second quarter, I don't believe, but has started the third and looks to be okay. So that's good news. Had 10 points early. Find yourself back at the free throw line. Van Wielden. Knocks down the first and ties us at 30. And leads all scorers now with 12. 31-30 lead back in favor of the Wildcats. Pettis gets things set, right slot. Uh, there's the trigger of the offense, Cameron Green. Dribble handoff from the high post. Ball swung around the perimeter. Pettis now inside to Green. Rogers, three from the wing. 
Rattles out. Green battling for the offensive rebound, and it's tipped out of bounds by Cunningham. It'll be what Pioneer basketball. High post to Green. And great pass. Found Jordan Gonzalez cutting back door. Gonzalez did well to catch that and get a shot off as she was fouled by Achoa, I believe. And that's Achoa's first personal. First team foul in the third. And Jordan Gonzalez ties us at 31. Got them both. And Pioneers will set the press after the made free throws. Little 2-2-1 pressure. A lot of times back to that 1-1-3 zone. And there it is. Stack the guards. Wings come out real high. Leave Cam Green in the post. Sergeant working from above the break all the way back down to the corner. And Emma Cuttingham drives baseline and scores over Green. Cuttingham matches her teammate with 12 points apiece. And there's a three from Gonzalez off the dribble handoff. Can't go under a handoff or a screen on Gonzalez. She'll stop and pop, knocks down the triple. Pioneers lead it by two and take a 30 second timeout in usports.com. Ball inbounded to Cuttingham. Pioneers show press and then fall back. Looks to be man-to-man -man defense this time as Baker was able to break the press and score against the zone on the previous trip. Another good defensive possession. This time it's Pettis and Gonzalez applying ball pressure out top. Forced the turnover. And Deanna Pettis gets things set. Sargent and Rogers trading, curling off of screens from Cameron Green. And Rogers is fouled out top by Haley Newmerch. Green, pass to the corner to Sargent, uses the ball screen, flips it back to Pettis. Late shot clock now and stolen away. Leah Van Wielden got a piece of that pass. Wildcats in transition. Flip it back. Cuttingham. Wide open three from the top of the key. Left it short. And Pioneers have numbers if they choose to run. And Gonzalez slows it down, then throws it over the top to Rogers. The trailer three from Sargent just off the back rim. Two teams trading open looks from the three-point line. Same result. And another steal. Deanna Pettis read that, came to jump the passing lane. Three on two break. Gonzalez stops. And before Gonzalez is three, there is a push away from the basketball. They're going to call Van Wielden for the personal, her second. That's the third team foul on Baker here in the third quarter. Pettis inbounds to Gonzalez. It's a screen. Now high post triggers the offense. Kicked out to Pettis. Another three from the corner. This one's left short. Knocked down her first one. Has gone cold since. Uh, applying full court pressure. And Jalen Tuhart's having trouble just getting across midcourt. And there's an offensive foul. 
Van Wielden whistled for the offensive foul. That's the fourth on the Wildcats, the third on Van Wielden. And in the stat book, that's going to be a turnover on Van Wielden for the charge. That's That turnover can be credited to the on-ball defense of Deanna Pettis. Two hearts had nowhere to go, couldn't get across midcourt, and just desperate to find a teammate, led her teammate right into traffic. So Pettis makes up for the missed jumper with the defensive effort. Dribble handoff up top for French. Her three rattles out. Offensive rebound by Madison Haney. Had her shot blocked from behind. Eventually, the Wildcats come away with the loose ball. Van Wielden in transition. Goes right at Green and up over the top. She's fouled. Thought Green did a decent job staying vertical there. They're going to get Green for her second personal. Van Wielden will head back to the free throw line. Splits the pair. Mackenzie Manthe will give Green a breather with 5.08 to go in the third quarter. The Pioneers lead by one. I have to go look at the Hart Conference standings, but I believe this Pioneer team, after a rough start, is going to have an opportunity to host a playoff game with an unbelievable second half of the year they've had as Aubrey Rogers knocks down a triple and Pioneers lead by two possessions for the first time. And Van Wielden found a hole in the defense, cuts right to the block, gets it, and lays it in for her 15th points of the ball game. Pettis to Rogers, just hit one, takes another one. This one's left way short. The Wildcat basketball. Full court pressure again, it's man-to-man -man press. Rogers picks up two hearts now with Pettis defending, I believe, Maggie Myers in the corner, it is. She has the ball up top now. Takes a step back jumper, left it way short on the air ball. It's air ball for both teams in two possessions now. Pettis, a little in and out to the rim, kicks it out to Haney. Pioneers do a nice job on that skip pass from the slot to corner. Force a long closeout when teams overhelp. Knocks down the free throw, splits the pair. And Gonzalez will check back in. Van Wielden, coast to coast, got all the way downhill and fouled. Left-handed layup, no good, but she's going to go right back to the free throw line where she has made a living here this evening. Van Wielden knocks down another one. Cutting into that Pioneer lead, just a three-point game now. And she got them both.
Pettis brings it across midcourt. A high post to Manthe. Wide open three, top of the key. Jordan Gonzalez knocks it down. Don't want to leave her open, especially from that spot where she likes to stop behind a dribble handoff and knock down a triple. Done it a couple of times now in the second half. Wildcats go inside to Cuttingham. Her shot over Manthe, no good. Rogers comes down with the rebound. Manthe did a nice job running rim to rim, got early post position. Pioneers couldn't get it to her. And there's French on the kick out three from Pettis, no good. An off shooting night from French who can get going from outside. And now she sees the lid fall off that basket, knocks down her first field goal. Deanna Pettis the assist. And Coach Marillo for the Wildcats going to take a 30 second timeout, talk things over. It's a 45 38 lead, 2.34 to go in the third quarter at NBSports.com. Choa across the top of the key to Cunningham. Gets to Morris, who's been quiet here. Just three points now and hasn't stolen away. Allison French comes away with the steal. And she's cut off in transition. Finds a trailing Gonzalez inside to Manthe. And the drop step, no good, but got her own miss. Resets to Gonzalez. Jordan, another three, left wing. This one's off the front rim and tracked down by Ochoa. Spinning and left-handed layup off the mark by two hearts. Manthe comes down with the rebound in traffic. Rogers up to Pettis. It's a four on three break. French for three, she got it. Allison French saw one go in and that's all it took. Knocks down a three a couple possessions later, and the Pioneers now lead by double figures. It's a 48-38 lead. Mid-American Nazarene. Second personal foul on Rogers called there. A little elevator screen and an ISO. Van Wielden attacks, missed the little mid-range jumper, but a offensive rebound and put back by Cuttingham where she's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Cuttingham knocks down the free throw. Emma Cunningham averages about 12 points a game, has 13 already tonight, make it 14 on the two for two trip to the line. It has been all Cunningham and Van Wielden on the offensive end for the Wildcats, but a phenomenal defensive third quarter from the Pioneers. Flipped a five point deficit to a double digit lead in about eight minutes. Beautiful offense. Manthe finds Jordan Gonzalez with a pretty reverse layup. Gonzalez must be an English major with the spin she put on that one. Finished it. 13 points now for Gonzalez. The lead's back to 10. Maybe a nominee for my Olathe Eye Care Good Vision play of the game there. A little nice pass and the pretty reverse finish. His two hearts frustrated again now. Off the mark, still stuck on two points. Pettis into the paint, left-handed floater up and good. Pettis 
pushes the lead out to 12. You can't say enough about the defensive effort from Aubrey Rogers and Deanna Pettis here tonight. Wildcats held to 40 here with probably their final possession of the third quarter. Cunningham over, up over Manthe, no good. An offensive rebound and an and one from Alyssa Morris. French picks up the personal. Just 12.8 to go. Shot clock is off here in the third quarter. And Morris capitalizes on the bonus free throw. Back in single digits are the Wildcats. As Haley Numrich checks back in for what should be the final possession of the third. Pettis brings it across. Goes high post to Manthe, chases it. Manthe back to Pettis. Late shot clock, or late game clock now, excuse me. Pettis, wild shot, left it short. That'll do it for the end of the third. Pioneers with a great third quarter. Take a 52-43 lead into the break. We'll be back for the fourth quarter of action at MediaSports.com. Well, fourth quarter set to begin. Pioneers struggled to inbound it there on the sideline for a moment. Eventually, Cameron Green flashed to the rescue. A nine-point lead for your Pioneers here to start the fourth. Green in the post, drop step, got her own miss. Shot clock should reset. Don't believe it did. And Lydia Austinson, hard drive to her right hand, and she's fouled. We'll head to the line for two. Foul is on Ochoa, her second. And Lydia knocks down both. It's the full court press after the made free throws. Still man to man pressure now. Pioneers have gone away from that zone as man-to-man -man defense has been spectacular here in the last quarter and a half. There's another steal. This time it's Austinson jumped the passing lane, coast to coast for the easy two. Austinson. A tale of two halves for the Pioneers. Struggled to score it in the second quarter, and then we're lights out in quarter number three, picking up right where they left off. Throw cut for Van Wielden, who's been the offense so far for the Wildcats tonight. Goes high post and gets it back on a give and go. Pretty pass there from Cunningham to Van Wielden for the two. She's up to 19, I believe leads all scorers in the ballgame. game. 
Austinson, dribble drive, kicked out, tipped away by the Wildcat defender, and Morris eventually comes down with the steal. And a foul away from the ball. I believe they're going to get Van Wielden for an illegal screen. Excuse me, it's Achoa called for the illegal screen, her third. And second team foul already here in the fourth quarter, just a minute and a half in. Step up screen, going baseline. Rogers turns the corner. A drive kick, extra pass there for the Pioneers, but being patient, run a little more offense and got a good shot at the elbow for Rogers, but too strong. Wildcats look to push. Ball is deflected out of bounds by Cameron Green. It'll still be Wildcat basketball. Gonzalez brings it across timeline. Early post for Green. Drop step to the right hand and scores. Cameron Green. Just has to be the freshman of the year in the heart of America. He leads the Pioneers in scoring as a true freshman. Let's imagine leads them in rebounding as well. She does. In double figures scoring over six rebounds a game. Shoots over 50% from the floor. That's a heck of a freshman campaign. As Cunningham knocks down a triple from the corner over. And lead back down to 10. Cunningham with 17 points. Gonzalez, three from the slot and hits the front rim, hits the back rim, somehow it doesn't go down. There's Van Wielden, the little sham god move. I don't know if it was on purpose, but was there nonetheless. Again, a wild shot from the left side, missed it. But Baker retains possession. Might have been unintentional, but that's the first sham god I think I've ever seen in a women's basketball game. Roll it out with the left hand, pull it back with your right. Shout out to God Sham God, New York City basketball legend. I know Coach Lewis will get a kick out of that when he watches the film later. Fourteen on the shot clock, Wildcats inbound baseline underneath. thrown out of bounds. I don't believe it was deflected. It was. So Pioneers got a fingernail on it. Stay Baker basketball. And a corner inbounds pass all the way to the rim on a backdoor cut was tipped out of bounds. So Baker will inbound again on the baseline, just seven on the shot clock now. And Cunningham spun baseline and stepped out of bounds. Pettis refuses the screen, gets into the paint, draws two defenders, got it to Austinson, and then she threw it away. Morris. All alone after the steal, lays it in. It's an eight-point ball game now with six to go. Baker playing heavily to Bianca Pettis' left hand, and she gets around the screen left anyway. And she was fouled by Cunningham. We'll go to the line for two.
And Cameron Green whistled for the foul on the post entry pass. Went through the back of Cunningham. That's just the first team foul on the Pioneers here in the fourth quarter. It is Cameron Green's third personal. And Manthe will run to the scores table and check in. Call Allison French for two hands on the ball handler. Two hearts. Again, Jalen, two hearts, 16 points a game score. Just two here tonight. And Baker's offense. Struggling because of it. Stuck on 50 points now. Pettis draws defenders. Skip pass to the corner. Lydia Austinson's three too strong. But there's Allison French for the offensive rebound, and she's going to go to the line. It's a nice job by Pettis touching paint, finding an open shooter. They won't get an assist on that trip, but still a quality offensive possession. That is the fourth personal on. Cunningham. He's been one of the two standout offensive players this evening for the Wildcats. And if they're going to have any hope of mounting a comeback with just five minutes to go, probably going to want her on the floor for that. She's one foul away from her night ending early. Choa, the little step through, the layup, it goes in. She's now got six points. The lead's back to single digits. Pettis drives baseline. Drops one off for McKenzie Manthe, who's fouled from behind. If that's Cunningham, that's her fifth. It's not, it's a Choa but that's her fourth personal as well. Starting point guard for the Wildcats. Manthe able to get the foul shot to go. Leads back to 10. Just a little full court pressure as Pettis came to trap. And there's the turnover, or just about a turnover, I should say. Gonzalez and Pettis on the floor. Head coach Marillo calls a timeout. So Baker will keep possession. We'll be back at minisports.com.
And Jalen Two Hearts gets the dribble handoff in the corner, goes back to Cunningham, and now it's Ochoa up top. 10 on the shot clock. And a strong baseline drive and a foul on Rodgers, I believe, will send Leah Van Wielden back to the free throw line where she's got a chance to get in the 20 point mark. Van Wielden too strong on free throw number two. So sitting at 20 points now, leads all scorers, but Wildcats find themselves behind by nine with just four minutes to go in the ball game. This was a close game the first time these two teams met in Baldwin City. I think it was a four point win for the Pioneers. And certainly a different club today than they were at that point in the season. Pettis misses the layup. And Achoa will get things set for the Wildcats. Hounded out top by Lydia Austinson. Inside to Cunningham. Up over Manthe. Mackenzie Manthe may have got a piece of that. Forces the miss either way. And a three in transition from Jordan Gonzalez off the mark. And she's played stellar here tonight. But maybe time and score, you might want to take a little more time off the clock before casting up a shot is Jalen Two Hearts right back the other way, scores her second bucket of the game, and it's all of a sudden a seven-point game. It's been a double-digit lead for the majority of this latter part of the second half. French, three from the top of the key, just off the mark, and Wildcats come up with a stop, can make this a two-possession game now. Cameron Green and Ariel Sargent check right back in. And it's the Pioneer starting group on the floor now. Starting group for both teams, I believe. Close this one out. Two hearts kicks to a wide open Morris. Her three looked good, didn't drop. And two hearts comes away with the rebound. And was looking to get it inside to Cuttingham. It was stolen away by Allison French. A heads up play by French. Pioneers steal a possession. Have a four on three break, but don't need to be in any hurry unless you got a great shot, and they do. Sergeant all alone missed the three. And a strong drive by Leah Van Wielden, who's been just tremendous offensively. It is 62-57 all of a sudden. Under two minutes to play. Pioneers got to put a stop to this run right here. Where the air is going to come out of this building, I think. And Cameron Green does just that. Scores with the right hand off the glass. Cameron Green now with 14 and a little breathing room. So leads back to seven. Shot off the mark inside by Cunningham, and Pioneers can take 30 seconds off this clock and bleed this game down to just a couple more possessions. And fouled out top is Vienna Pettis, so she'll go to the line. It's the fourth personal on two hearts. Anna Pettis on the year, a 69% free throw shooter, knocks down the first. She's in double figures with 10. Got them both. A little 
Token full court press, make you take five, six seconds off the clock, bringing it across the timeline. Pioneer switching everything now, I think. They didn't, though. Left a fairly good look for Van Wielden up top, missed the three, though, and the Pioneers can just about put this one to bed. Wildcats choosing not to foul. Foul finally comes with 13 seconds on the shot clock. As there are several Wildcats on the floor that have four personal fouls, but at some point the clock becomes more your enemy than your personnel, and you got to just take one. They got Jalen Two Hearts to commit the foul. Her fourth now. Sends Rogers to the line, and she misses the first. some discussion about how much time should be on the clock here. Missed them both, but Ariel Sargent tracks down the offensive rebound that will all but end this game. Baker choosing not to foul, I believe, just putting some ball pressure on. And now they do. Ma Maggie Myers comes up and commits the foul. Shot clock will be off the rest of the ball game. Cameron Green will head to the line. Sixty-eight, fifty-seven, twenty-two to go in the ball game. Cunningham up top to Myers, three from the slot, too strong. Rebounded by Van Wielden, but the ball was knocked out of her hands on the way down, and she was fouled. And Van Wielden's going to go to the line. Van Wielden does hit from the foul line to continue her standout performance. 23 points now, but going to come up short are the Wildcats as the Pioneers are going to win their 12th out of 13 tries in the second semester. Just an unbelievable run since January. Numrich commits the foul with 12 seconds to go in the ball game, trailing by nine. Suppose you think in the women's game, you can't advance the ball on timeout, so stranger things have happened. There's only one timeout left for the Wildcats, but Gonzalez will just step to the line, bury the free throws, and make it a 10-point lead. You got them both. Gonzalez now with 15. Van Wielden tied up and fouled by Jordan Gonzalez. And the Pioneers committing fouls near midcourt with seven and a half seconds to go in an 11 point game. Just questionable decision by a fifth year senior. Well, 
Van Wielden will get to continue her career night in the scoring column. 25 points now. And splits the pair, and that should be your final score. And it will. Your Pioneers 70, the Baker Wildcats 60. Mid-America Nazarene wins 12 out of 13 here in the second half and continue to climb their way up the heart rankings. Congratulations, Coach Lewis and the Lady Pioneers. We'll be back in about 20 minutes bringing you the men's game between Mid-America and the Baker Wildcats. Thanks for tuning in at NewSports.com.